Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mark Henry with another Opmantic Walkabout Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about the ability to scale, have high availability, DNR support, and multi-tenancy using NMIS and Opmantic's OPHA high availability module. Large-scale managed service providers, internet service providers, and segmented enterprises often have the need to deploy two or more polling servers. That is servers that are deployed out in the field and whether they're uh, logically segmented or geographically segmented, have those polling servers be able to handle a subset of the total number of devices the organization has. While Opmantic servers are often capable of handling anywhere from three to 5,000 devices, depending on the total number of interfaces being monitored. Uh, again, it's often helpful to scale things out, reduce the load on the servers, have the servers be able to collect more information uh, and do it more reliably. With Automatic's OPHA module, you can add as many polling servers at a bottom level out in the field. Those polling servers each handle their own uh, uh, list of devices, and then they can either push or pull that list of devices and all of its information up to one or more master servers. It's important to note that when scaling with OPHA, that Omnitech only charges you for the total number of devices that you have under management. So for example, whether you have one polling server and one master server, all monitoring a thousand devices, you're still only paying for a thousand devices. If you deploy 20 polling servers and 10 master servers to handle that same 1000 devices, there's no additional charge. In addition, because Opmantic solutions are all built on Linux, which itself is open source, uses MongoDB and MySQL's backends for the solution, there's no additional licensing costs for your database or your operating system. These, of course, reduce your overall cost of licensing. You'll notice in this server architecture diagram, uh, we have two example master servers. You can, of course, have as many as you want. Uh, in many cases, we'll have clients who will locate master servers in various geographical locations such as Western Europe, Eastern US, Western US, uh, perhaps uh, in the uh, Amazon cloud, uh, and you might even have one located at, uh, at a DNR site. Uh, in addition, in this example, you see that we have a portal server in the top right corner. Uh, it's a great example of being able to use OPHA uh, along with OP charts to be able to provide a client login portal. So in the case of managed service providers or ISPs, you can provide your clients with custom logins they can log into that portal and be given a custom dashboard provided by you that talks specifically about whatever devices they have, uh, whatever circuits or interfaces you want them to see. Drilling into how OPHA works uh, at a more granular level, you'll notice the polling server along the, the middle tier here. Uh, NMIS is capturing this information, both SNMP, WMI, and also doing all of your service monitoring. That information is passed to OPHA on the polling server and then OPHA synchronizes it with the master. Again, OPHA on the polar can either push information to the master on a schedule, or the master can pull that information up. That information is provided to the master server. The master server version of NMIS then has that information available to it and makes that information available to OP charts. Uh, it's important to note that this is metadata. It's not fully detailed data. So OP charts has a view of the health and welfare of the devices. But for example, if you want to drill into uh, detailed historical information, or if you want to get information, uh, uh, detailed flow information about interfaces, OP charts will then make a request from the master down to the appropriate polling server responsible for that device and pull that information back up to the master. You'll also notice that if you're licensing OP events, uh, which is Opmantic's high-end event management system, that OP events can integrate directly through meta events and an OP Events API directly to the master server. Taking a quick look at what that looks like, OPHA has a very simplistic interface. You simply configure uh, all of your, uh, the master servers from the polar. You tell the polar about all the master servers it can talk to. You tell the master about all the polling servers it can talk to. And then the interface allows you to do very simplified uh, push and pull examples for communication between the two. Otherwise, everything's scheduled through cron jobs. In the end, the goal is to be able to provide as much detailed information on the master server as absolutely possible without weighing the master server down with all of the detailed information that the polling server remains responsible for. 
thank you very much for your time today. This concludes uh, Augmentic's discussion of OPHA, scalability, high availability, disaster recovery, and multi-tenancy using NMIS and OPHA. To request a demo or find more information, visit firstwave.com.